Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rehaka, Kodesh. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect of Israel. Now, why I got the sheep pulled up is because of its curly hair. Who else has curly hair? Now, this lesson is going to be based off of um, a lesson that Elder Yashawamba did not too long ago. And um, I want to go just to a few scriptures. I just got a few scriptures. Just a few scriptures. Pretty much, A, our Lord is a dark-skinned man. And Esau Edom is trying everything he can to cover the fact. But different artifacts and all these things are there and present. Uh, different Russian icons. Different things that prove that our Lord was a dark-skinned man. And not this white Jesus Christ character. And that's what's got these people upset that everybody's finding out about their bullcrap, man. This is Revelations 1 and 12, and it says, this is John the Revelator, and I turned to see the voice that spoke, that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. And his head and his hairs were white like wool. That's why I had the picture pulled up. World of wool. Now, wool looks curly to me. But that's just me. It says, His head and his hairs, Revelations 1 and 14, were white like wool, as white as snow. So, it was like a afro -y type of hair but gray you know because of the wisdom and his eyes were as the flame of fire and his feet like unto fine brass now you go into that color brass what color is brass everybody can't say that it's not brown well what color is the jesus christ character that they got it See, 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 the thing is, you, you, when you come into this truth, you realize the lies that Esau Edom has put on our people, man. The blatant ignorance, like they accomplished a real diligent search. It's, you know, you got to give them a round of applause almost like the elder in Georgia said. But um, it's it, it's crazy that all of our people go to all these churches all around the world, especially in the United States, especially you Negroes, Latinos, and you Native Americans, and you never read Revelations chapter one and fourteen through fifteen. You never really considered it. You, Especially when it says, and his feet like unto fine brass. How the hell did Esau hide it from you so much? How did he hide it from you so hard that you go to church faithfully 20, 30 years in a row every Sunday and you never read that 
Or was it that you didn't care that he was a dark-skinned man? Or was it... What about the image? What about the image that they got up, though? See, you have no excuses now. Because those dry bones are waking up. And everybody's waking up. To the fact that our Lord was a dark-skinned man. Let me read that again. Revelations 1 and 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Let's look up that color because I was looking it up earlier. Let's see. Burned in the furnace because it says, it says, and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. That is key. Why don't these people that's in these churches all across America, you Israelites, what has made you not understand these things? See, that's a train coming in the background. It's a train coming, man. And either you're going to get on it or you, you're going to be left here with Esau, man. Being destroyed. It says, and his feet like unto fine brass, and as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. That's Jake. Jake, Jake speak deep. But let's get this. So, fine brass burnt, burn in the furnace. Brass burned. Somebody already looked it up. In a furnace. Let's get images. Brother's been looking it up, man. See? <laughs> Some of these images. Brass burning in the furnace, man. It looks just like, looks like us. Looks like our people. Let's get some different ones. Look at these images, man. Brass burned. They dark. They're not like the image that they put up. And um, burnished brass. Look at that. That looks like us, man. That's our color. You know? Just a few scriptures, man. You know, that looks like us. That's the color of us, our people. It's not the one color that they got put up, man. So let's get some other ones. Just a few little scriptures. I ain't even going to go into the whole lesson right now because I got to get ready for work. It says, um, this is the account. Uh, basically, when the Lord, when the Lord uh, was speaking to Philip, Because certain of you Christians out there, you think that uh, our Lord and the Heavenly Father is the same. Well, guess what? They, they look the same. They're not the same being. You call Jesus God. Well, he is a God. But he up under the Heavenly Father, the King of everything, man. And his 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 son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is the king of everything also, because like father, like son, right? This is gonna explain that account. This is John chapter 14, verse 9. And Yahweh Shai 
We don't say the J word. It says, and Yahweh Shai saith unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father. So Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant call Jesus Christ, I just said it, but Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant call Jesus Christ, he's a so called dark skinned man. It says, and how sayest then, show us the Father? It says, believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else believe me for the very work's sake. Okay. But the point is. When he said. Have I been so long with you. In verse 9. And yet hast thou not known me Philip. He that have seen me. Have seen the father. Okay. He that have seen me have seen the Father. You see? Have seen. Let's go into that word. Have seen. It says. Strong G. 3708. Harao. Harao. Swaki. Harao. To see with the eyes. So, if you see Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, with the eyes, everything in his being, everything that he, his color, his, his eyes, his hands, his feet, you've seen the Father. To see with the mind, to perceive, to know, to see, become acquainted with by experience, to experience, to see, to look, to, to take care, to be, to be aware, to take heed to, I was seen, showing myself, appeared, yeah, to see with the eyes, man, and your eyes, you know, <laughs> They show you the difference between lightness and light and darkness. You see where we're going here. But there's a point to this situation here. These people have totally destroyed our people, man. And we can go into Leviticus and about leprosy and all that stuff. But just to keep this very short, let's go here. To, um, <clears throat> what was that? Uh, yep. Let's go to that account right there with Miriam here in Numbers chapter 12. Because, uh, Miriam and Aaron was talking stuff against the Lord. Yeah, they was talking because because Moses married a different kind of woman, but yeah, the the account there. I want to get to the point. It says, uh, it says, uh, Numbers twelve, and um, I'll start at nine. It says, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against them, and he departed, and the cloud departed from off the tabernacle, and behold, Miriam became leprous, white as snow. And Aaron looked upon Miriam, and behold, she was leprous, okay? She was white as snow. Does that look white as snow? 
That don't look white as snow. Basically, the point is our Lord and our people are dark-skinned people. Let's get this other account here in the book. I think it was in the... Did I not get the one out of... Uh... I thought I got the one out of Daniel. Fuck you. This is Daniel chapter 10 and 5, and it says, Then I lifted up my eyes and looked. This is Daniel speaking, you know, a vision that he's seen. And behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold and a Euphras, his body also was like the burrow, and his face as the appearance of lightning, and his eyes as the lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet, his arms and his feet, his arms and his feet, like in the color to polished brass, and the voice of of his words like the voice of a multitude okay that 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 brass keep coming up that's a derivative of brown okay copper brass bra brass i says bronze as copper alloy fetters copper bronze copper as value must Yeah, you know what bronze is, bronze, bronze, let's look up bronze, yellowish brown alloy copper with one third, look, 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 look at that color, does that look like the so-called Jesus character, that color right there, if you say that I'm lying, then you got to be you're out of your mind, man. You're out of your mind. Let's look up Jesus, like my elder did earlier. What kind of pictures we get? In the first picture, they try to show him as a dark man. But that's not... Our Lord, his hair don't look, his hair ain't wooly like our hair. And he don't look like brown. You see what I'm saying? Look, these new pictures popping up. They trying to make them look brown and shit. <laughs> it's not our Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not our Lord, man. It clearly tells you. But, uh, anyway, man, hopefully the point was made. All praise, honor, and glory. How about some Yelp shot? Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.